really changes a person's life. Call GPS today. Wait, you're a night manager and mom and birthday cake baker? So adding and student might feel daunting. National University is here to support all your ands. National University, supporting the whole you. I just wrote a jingle for my fish sandwich. Want to hear it? Fish, fish, fish. Look at this fish. It's wild caught Pollock from Alaska. Good thing I don't need jingles to sell my food. My fish sandwich is back for a limited time. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carlos Torreira, live in Arlington Heights, where the search continues for a missing seven-year-old boy. We have a live interview with the grandfather who has full custody of that little boy. That's coming up next. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. For the first time, we're hearing from the Nashville police officers who rushed to a school campus under attack and took down a shooter within minutes. I'm Eric Spielman. What is next for Donald Trump now that he's pleaded not guilty to 34 felony charges? How will he balance running for office and defending himself in court at the same time? We'll look at that coming up. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. A popular vacation vacation destination, especially for Southern Californians, considering adding a tourism tax. We'll tell you where just ahead. You know her from TV shows like The Gate and Heart of Dixie, but Kaylee Miller is joining us to talk about her new thriller, Live, You Kill Me, it's called. Plus, my review of the movie that is both a slam dunk and a three-pointer at the same time. How does that work? Check out my review of Air in theaters now. That's coming up. Plus all that and the big story, our weather is improving by the day and it will continue all the way through the weekend and the beginning of next week. We're going to see some warmer temperatures, more sun than rain. That hasn't been the balance in weeks now. And there it is, the beautiful Hollywood sign right out there. And uh, the uh, weather, clear skies with warming temperatures. 63 will be the high at the beaches, downtown Los Angeles, 69, 71 for the San Fernando Valley. High desert, they're going to be hitting a high of 61 degrees, 69 today in the Inland Empire and also Orange County Inland up to 71 degrees. Complete details coming up. Frank, back to you. And back to our breaking news. The search is underway for a seven-year-old boy who was last seen yesterday afternoon in the Arlington Heights neighborhood of Los Angeles. KTLA's Carlos Herrera live with the very latest. Carlos, good morning. Uh, Frank, a good morning. Seven-year-old Derek Clay lives with his grandfather here at this apartment building on Crenshaw Boulevard here uh, in Arlington Heights, right near Pico Boulevard and Olympic uh, as well. Now, yesterday he was last seen playing in the courtyard right near this uh, apartment building. Take a look at the photos here so you can get a better idea of who this little boy is. Investigators saying he was last seen around 4.30 p.m. Uh, he's uh, has short black hair, brown eyes, medium build. He's five feet tall, weighs about 130 pounds. Last seen wearing a gray t-shirt, gray sweater, dark pants, and blue shoes. Now again, uh, Derek Clay lives with his grandfather who also looks after Derek's teenage brother. Uh, let's bring it back out here live so we can hear from the grandfather himself. Uh, Donald Lewis joining us this morning. Derek plays outside every day yes. and he goes missing yesterday. Yes. And what goes through your mind when you think that your little boy is missing? I'm devastated. I, he, uh, I, I don't know what to say. He's, he's a great kid. He's a super great kid. And, uh, and him missing like this is terrible for me and the whole family. You're concerned, obviously. Very concerned. You know, for his health, his welfare, he's hungry, you know, he's cold. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm concerned. Derek's father visits occasionally. Do you think mother may have him at this point? I don't know. I hope she does. I don't know if she has him or not. Uh, I know they talk on the phone a lot to each other, and um, so I, I don't know. You know, you notice he was missing at around 4.30 p.m., 5 p.m., and then you looked around in the neighborhood for him. You I couldn't find him. him. Yeah, and then you called police. Police came over. They used your, uh, their, their dogs to sniff around, making sure that he wasn't around uh, the area. They didn't find him. But then you said there was a very important phone call that was made from Derek's phone. Tell me about yeah. that. The police officer called his number. Someone answered, 
and they hung the phone up. So someone has his phone? Someone has it, or they made him hang the phone up. Usually he answers his phone calls, right, when people call him? Of course. Him? He always answers. Yeah, he answers. And, and he uh, uh, always thought he's a talkative kid. You know, he talks. And, so this is un, un, unused and unlike him. Mom visits occasionally. You said sometimes she picks him up, but always notifies you. No, she she don't pick him up without me. Got it, exactly. So you're, you're aware when that happens. So if, if she sees him, she may call and meet him on the corner. She may call him to meet him out here or something like that. You see. So it would be unusual for her to just grab him and go? Yes, of course, because she knows I, I, I'm, I'm his uh, guardian. Yeah. Police, obviously, they, they're telling us that they're worried and they're praying that someone out there is waking up this morning is going to be watching the news, seeing Derek's picture and saying yes. he needs to be I've back home. Him. That's good. I hope someone does.